YouTube, my name is Mesa Sean, and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Alright folks, I've got an amazing guide for you guys here today on how to kill Tanix, the final raid boss, in the Deepstone Crypt, really safely, really easy, no swapping of buffs whatsoever. Basically, a dummy can do it, and I mean a dummy like me, okay? Um, this is kind of like a viewer requested video, because when I was streaming it, and you guys saw the strategy, a number of you were kind of commenting, maybe you should do it this way, you should do it this way, but the way the we do it, it's it's so easy, okay? I mean, each run is just a couple of minutes, and he's dead as disco. So, let's get into it. I'm going to show you the strategy, how we do everything. It takes, basically, the strategy takes all the thought out of swapping buffs, uh, where to deposit things, anything like that. Um, you will need some key exotics, which we will go over, uh, that are very, very helpful, and also slug shotguns. Slug shotguns are amazing. If you use this method, you will get three rounds of DPS, and in a nutshell, if you DPS is strong, which we will go over what you want to use, you can pretty much one phase them every single time. So, if you find this video helpful, please leave a like on the video, comments help even more, subscriptions help even more than that, and if you want to join an awesome Destiny 2 Mesa Army community over on Discord, and the Mesa Army clan that the channel members set up and run, click the link in the description or click join on screen. Alright, let's get into it, folks. So, I want to go over everything because, just in case anyone who hasn't done the raid boss or is struggling or is new to the final encounter we need to go over everything and a big shout out to longtime channel member killer Sirocco. he is the one that showed this to all of us and he pulled this image here which was created by someone named laz so shout out to him okay so let's take a look at the map so here's the encounter and you spawn in over to the right hand side where the gray is all right so let's look at the little numbers i know they're kind of hard to see but the little yellow boxes are where you deposit your bombs right so we've got one and two is on the bottom of the screen sort of Three and four are on the left hand side of the screen and five and six are up top. Now this is going to be critical here because wherever Tanix goes, Tanix can go top, he can go left or he can go down to the bottom. Wherever he goes, bombs are not going to be deposited there. So this way you can deposit bombs at all the other ones. So the goal of this is when we want to take the bombs off Tanix, we want to take off four bombs, okay? We don't want to take off two. You got to get all four off, because this way, wherever he is, you just go to the other sites where he's not and deposit all of those bombs and you're good to go. Another great thing about this strategy is that there is no swapping. Like for me in the clips you're going to see is I'm always the operator. Okay, that's why I run my reckless oracle so I could pop people out of their uh, detainments. Okay, uh, but I don't have to worry about swapping with my partner and that goes the same for the suppressor. Now the scanners, the scanners don't have any job whatsoever because remember, they're not scanning anything. They don't need to see which boxes are lit up because wherever Tanix is, um, that's where uh, the bombs are not going to be going. The reason why you want to do the four bomb strategy is because it gives you three rounds of damaging Tanix. And with that, if you have enough DPS, well, from there, you could send him into final stand and technically one phase him. So that's the reason why that we use the four bomb strategy. Now, let's talk about some uh, subclasses, some weapons, and some exotics that you probably should use that would help you out. Now, you want someone with divinity. That's going to help out a lot because then you don't have to go for the head. And for some reason, when you spray him with divinity, the bubble appears below him, not on his body or top of him. Xenophage is what I am using and slug shotguns, okay? You can run double slug shotguns and anarchy, but the slug shotguns are amazing for DPS, okay? And there's a number of them in the loot pool. Go check it out on light.gg. You want to get some slug shotguns, and the raid slug shotgun is amazing. I have one with 100 range, uh, accurized rounds, and I think 70 impacts, so it's a monster. In terms of subclasses, well, Warlocks, you want at least two Well of Radiances because um, you're doing three phases of damage before he goes into final stand. Um, if you have three Warlocks, one can go Slova Bomb. Hunters, you want to go a bottom tree gunslinger with Celestial Nighthawk. Titans, of course, you want Ward of Dawn to give everyone weapons of light. The Warlocks with the Well of Radiances, you want Luna Faction boots on because, well, it helps with the reload, but also it makes the Empowering Rift uh, more effective over longer ranges, and that helps out with those slug shotguns. If you're using Xenophage like I am on a Titan, of course, use Actium War Rig where you never have to reload it. You just hose them down with Xenophage the entire time and just empty 
through your magazine and then when you're down to like the third phase or I'm sorry third round of damaging him uh, then you just switch to your slug shotgun if you're feeling frisky probably the best DPS is going to be anarchy and double slug shotguns because you pop them twice with anarchy and then you switch to your double slug shotguns uh, for me personally, I'm always running Xenophage, Reckless Oracle, and then the Raid Shotgun. I use Reckless Oracle so I can pop people out of their detainment shields and also clear some ads. I use the Slug Shotgun for DPS, but I'm mainly using Xenophage for DPS. Early on, we were using Snipers, and I'm sure, hey, try Cloud Strike or Whisper and things like that. But we just found, man, the Slug Shotguns right now are just amazing. And you combine that with either Anarchy or a Xeno, man, it's amazing. But I personally, I like to throw in that Reckless Oracle for ad control and also because I'm shooting people out of their detainment shield as I am the operator now let's talk about the suppressor real quick this is critical here okay this is not like the third encounter where you can stun 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 you want to stun stun and then on the third one don't stun right away wait for the call out the call out is when the second person is freed from their detainment so you need two detainments and then he could do that final stun so keep that in mind stun stun then wait there until you hear two people have been cleansed and then you're good to go to do the final stun so that's gonna do it for the video guys I'll show you a quick kill right now it's literally just a couple of minutes it's so fast that you could do this guys and uh, that's it so leave me a hashtag made it to the end if you did make it to the end and do me a favor drop a like in this video only if you see fit follow me on Twitter at Mesa Sean check out my stream usually know it's on YouTube and that's it I am out of here like Vladimir and here's the kill Where you going, cutie patootie? Do you want to make a friend? I can be friends with you. He really has an interest in me. Right, He's coming. <laughs> yeah. I will get his back left knocked off. I got front off. right. I got, okay, front, I got, back I got right. front left. It's two off. Three. Oh. I'm Go quickly. going for now it's gonna huh? go three. Lens one. Dev's gonna go one. I'll go two. I have this Lens captain two. on me. He is stunned. Oh, that's it. Oop, we got it. Oh my god. Gucci. We just need ammo. Ammo's been found. Or not early well, early. Uh, come in when you want the bubble. Ooh, extra ammo right there. Oh, it went into thing right now. You're doing uh, first one, correct? Right? Oh. Oh, If you do that well when he's doing that, he'll uh, won't launch you backwards. Yeah. When he's doing the slamming. Is it in? There it is. I couldn't see it, I guess. I had to reload. No, oh, I kept getting pushed forward by some Jesus. It's okay. We're good. We slapped him. No, I, no, the divinity is to the stupid glitch where you can't see it, but it was there. Go away, Tanix. Mom doesn't love you. Fuck about. There we go. Good shit, guys. We, we did the thing. That was cleaner than our last one. That was great, guys. Chest nice. piece. Come on. Chest piece. Oh, I needed the chest piece. Oh, I got. All I need is the helmet. All I need is a helmet for my uh, Titan.